It has been roughly a year or so ago since I last saw Fantastic Four, and that was in the cinema. And no news of Josh Trank returning to the director's chair has been announced. To briefly sum up what I thought of Fantastic Four, or Fan Four Stick, or Tranktastic Four, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter, I'll put it this way. I didn't hate it or love it. I just have no real feelings toward it. Most have already torn the movie to shreds, and I don't think I've had anything to say on the matter. I didn't think it was a good movie, but I didn't think it was a bad one either. I just have indifference toward it. I also won't bore you with the details of what went down in the production. To put it this way, it wasn't pretty, and most have stayed clear of Trank as a result. Funny thing is, the, the behind-the-scenes production trouble was more interesting than the movie. I seriously recommend checking out Midnight's Edge on the subject of Josh Trank and the production of Fantastic Four. It's a pretty interesting video series that I would recommend. But here is the big question. Could Trank return to the director's chair? Yes and no. There is a slim possibility, and it's only a slim one, that Trank may be able to get work as a self-employed director who runs his own production company. But as far as being able to be hired by Fox or any major studio, it is unlikely to be the case unless he makes some kind of amends, especially with respect to the damage he allegedly caused during production. And his negative tweet, which he promptly deleted later, distancing himself from the film. The following statement Trank released a day before his film opened. Quote, A year ago I had a fantastic version of this. And it would have received great reviews. You'll probably never see it. That's reality, though. Unquote. The problem that faces Josh Trank is that Fantastic Four has effectively poisoned his name and career. His name in Hollywood is toxic. Future projects, even if they are as successful as Chronicle, which I have not seen at the time of this video, in terms of critical response, they will not yield decent box office returns like Chronicle, at least for a while, or they constantly flop at the box office unless, again, Trank makes reparations for what happened with Fantastic Four. Chronicle may have been the film that put Trank in the spotlight, but Fant Stick has damaged that film to an extent that it may fade into obscurity, or when Trank's name is mentioned, people will look back on Fantastic Four, and that will be the movie they associate with him. Not a good way to be remembered by history. As for who is to blame for Fant Stick turning out the way it did, whether 20th Century Fox shoulders the blame or not for changing Trank's vision, that is irrelevant. I personally believe that Fox were well-intentioned in trying to salvage the movie and tried to make it work, but it just didn't click. Having said that, neither Fox nor Trank should shift the blame but I'd say Trank should have handled the situation in a more mature manner, and the studio should have sat down with Trank in a meeting of some kind to discuss what could have been done with the movie before it began its production. Assuming that Trank wasn't allowed to actually go through with his vision, he should not have thrown his toys out of the pram and be obnoxious or unpleasant on set when he didn't get his own way. On the other hand, Fox definitely should have trusted Trank to know what he is doing again assuming that Trank was not allowed to do his take on the Fantastic Four, namely a gritty take on them. Because every film has to be just like the Christopher Nolan Batman films and completely miss the point of why they were excellent movies. But I digress. And on a little side note, I think Brian Singer should have been given some creative control to guide Trank in the right direction, while at the same time letting Trank do his own take on the Fantastic Four. That is if Brian Singer were interested. What say you?